change my setup a little bit so I had further to walk y'all ready for the movie I am let's do it roll the clips come on in here bring your kool-aid your cocktail your water bring your food and snack let's sit and chat with who me this hood girl to the hood let's say prayers y'all and we're gonna eat Thank you, Father God, for this another beautiful, blessing day. Thank you for bringing us through this day with mercy and grace and love. Oh, God. Who will build us up where we're torn down and strengthen us in our weakness as we go through these journeys, Father. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. There you go. Oh, yeah, we got water. Today is Tuesday. It's been a good day for me and a questionable day as well. We'll talk about it in a minute. So whatever you're doing, do it good. So salute, salute. Let's sip this good water. Cheers, sisters. How y'all doing today? Thank y'all for coming in again. Don't forget to thumbs your hood girl up. Subscribe, my new people. Mm-hmm. Well, that water's cold, y'all. We have some air fried chicken, potatoes, and corn. Yeah, and we have tapatia today, y'all. Y'all know I love tapatia. On Mexican food and chicken. Period. Period. Y'all want the first bite? Of course you do. Y'all want some of these garlic mashed potatoes now? I did taste these, y'all. These are good. There you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. Hey. Mm. Oh, goodness. They're good. That good old butter corn. Salt, pepper, sugar, butter. I'm hungry today. Well, I'm eating a little later. I looked at that clock and realized I did not set the time. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, we're going to eat a little bit and then we're going to talk about what else? New relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's not very often I have a uh, mashed potatoes, y'all. I'm craving seafood. I got that that tilapia, but didn't we have tilapia like a week ago? I want some blue crabs. I seen my favorite store. They got um, snow crabs for eighteen ninety nine a pound. Maybe I'll get one or two. Mmm, that's some good chicken. That's some good chicken now. You now this hot sauce is, is good and spicy. You know that, y'all know, huh? Mmm. -hmm. That's good. How was your day today? Work, school.
I don't know why I'm on some ketchup. But I'm not getting up. That's good. It's so good. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know if y'all watch um, Married at First Sight, but tomorrow, honey, if we have a tomorrow, it's going to be juicy. I told y'all like a month ago, maybe, it was that long. I, I, I was scrolling on and I, I got on TLC channel and I found 90 Day Fiance. I like that show too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, all these shows, everybody just want a good love, period. But some of us do. Just a good love, a genuine love. And you want peace when you're loving. You don't want all that other stuff. Mm. That's some good chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody wants love. I looked at B-Love today. That girl make those king crabs look so doggone good. Mmm. Yeah, my camera. It needs to be charged. Badly. <laughs> I'm looking at the timer because we got to talk about something, y'all. And I'm going to really need y'all to comment below, okay? How you feel about it. Mm. That's good. That seasoning is really good on that bone, y'all. You know how sometimes... Like a pork chop bone, a chicken bone. You just want to eat the bone because it's so good. Mm, it's good. I don't want that bang though. Ugh. All right, y'all. Y'all know I'm back in dating. Uh, COVID, uh, this, it's not going away, but I am dating again. Uh, Y'all know me and Bossy was, uh, a Bossy was forming a friendship and it felt so good because it was unexpected. You know, he bust my bubble today. That's why I say, why, why is it so hard to date today? What the hell changed? I'll tell you what changed. The mind thoughts. It's different. Uh, I thought we had something good, you know. He made me believe it. We agreed together one day at a time as we learn each other. I took sex off the table. You have to. I just I just want to learn 
people. You can't have my body. Nobody can. I got a brilliant mind. You know, I got somebody, so many other things to offer. And I asked him a question. Um, about dating others while we're getting to know each other. We're not in a committed relationship. I think it's something he didn't like it. <laughs> I think it's a couple of things. I think it's because sex is not on the table. He didn't like the dating question because he did bring it up to me. So today, y'all, he told me that the feelings he had for me, God took it away from him. That's something I will not debate. I was stunned. My heart felt a pain for some reason. I was not expecting that. I felt so hurtful. You know, I did. Because I really genuinely liked him. And I hadn't liked nobody like that for a long time. He hurt my heart. And it, and it triggered the pain I had. When that man I loved that broke my heart to the core. It, 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 I, it triggered that pain and I did not like it. So when he told me God took it away from him. The feelings that is. For me, I was speechless. I was in awe. I was stunned. I was surprised. I was hurt. Because I thought we had something beautiful. He did too. So my only thing I, I had was, oh, I mean, what else can you say? Oh, okay. Take care of yourself. What else do you do? You know, and it, it's a shame that relationships are like this today, you know? I want love because I got so much love to give, but I don't want to rush love. I just, I want to take time to learn one another, you know? And how many people did I date before him? I didn't have no feelings for nobody. It was what it was. But just for the person you think is different, God, that broke my heart. And I had a tear that just ran down my cheek. And I would I didn't even know it was gonna do that. You know? He broke my he broke my heart. You know, and that's amazing because it wasn't about sex. You know, it was about what we was learning about each other, you know, intrigued. And I was so into him. Should I posted him on my on my social media pages? Everybody don't go to hell. So I have to have some kind of feelings involved. Genuine. genuine. Everybody don't move me like that. So. He did ask me. What did I think about this one? And I said. I, I, I said you want my true thoughts? I felt like your verbiage has changed. And. What we had was sweet. The, the sweet just turned to shit. Sugar to shit. That's what I think. So. There you have it. 
I thank I thank God for my two best friends. You know, I would never lose them because they always, always ready for me. You know, they 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 were with me when I went through the other pain. You know. They both don't think it's over. Well, my sweet D said it ain't over. But you know, it doesn't matter where these men come from. It doesn't matter what the ages are. It doesn't matter what the stages are. It doesn't matter where you come from, the country, the city, the state, the wherever they so similar with that bullshit. That mind game, that foolishness. I'm getting full. I'm almost through with my potato toes. They are so good. We got that one long little chicken lady. <laughs> Is YouTube going to uh, chop my video because I said the BS word? <laughs> That's what I felt at that moment, y'all. Yeah. You know, oh, that's hot. <clears throat> you know, sometimes when you go through such feelings or situations or circumstances like this or similar, it, it hardens your heart, you know? And that's one thing I don't want to do. But what I think about if um, if if you just if you just getting to know each other and there's no commitment and you know you agree to do one day at a time, you have to you have, the question of dating has to happen because what if you see me in a store or a red light or somewhere and I'm interlocked with another man that you're going to be, you're going to, you, you're going to feel some type of way. So I think things should just be put out on the table. Nothing should be hidden when you're trying to learn one another. It was, it was just a question. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep dating.
<laughs> Just when you think the, the right one was the right one for it. All right. We about to sign off, y'all. I'm for it, too. But I will eat the rest of this chicken. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for listening. Because you know you're my family too. And sometimes you just got to talk things out. You just have to talk it through. You know, you just can't harbor things in. You got to let it out. You know? Mm-hmm. Y'all, so we out of time. Y'all ready to sing with your hood, girl? Come on in, quiet. We ain't gonna be down too long. You know, some things you just gotta go through because it's gonna teach you something. I don't know what the lesson is right now, but I'm ready to learn whatever it is, you know? Ooh. Let's sing, beautiful people. Come on, quiet in the back. Come on. Thank y'all, quiet in the front. Y'all ready to make us sound good? <laughs> hey, let's do it. And we about to lose this camera. <clears throat> I thought I was ready. <clears throat> That hot sauce hit the back of my throat. I think I need some water first. Hold up, quiet. It is. <coughs> Let us go this time. <clears throat> Pray for you, hood girl. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this beautiful day. Do it good. Do it with purpose and do it with genuine love. I got um, Bible study tonight, y'all. So peace out. I love y'all. Bye-bye.